we have developed a unique method to grow graphene. And this method is scalable, industrially compatible, and it can be used for flexible substrates and for biomedical applications. Graphene is like one atomic sheet of carbon forming honeycomb structure. Each atomic layer is strong and they have excellent electrical conductivity and also excellent um, thermal conductivity. Most people try to fabricate graphene using a very high temperature method, but a lot of these flexible substrates that we need to use to make flexible electronics, for instance, they consist of polymers. You cannot treat them at high temperature, otherwise they immediately break. And so we developed the graphene growth process at room temperature. Our process is called Plasma Enhanced Chemical Vapor Deposition Process, PECVD, a unique method for graphene growth on different substrates that could be useful for many applications. To grow graphene, we only use the sheeting from the plasma itself. We need the reacting gas. We use methane and hydrogen. Methane provides a carbon source and the plasma helps dissociate methane into reactive species. And those species can react on top of the metal surface on the substrate, which forms graphene on top. We have grown graphene on very thin metal wires on top of polymers. And then we want to demonstrate whether the electrical circuits made out of these metal wires can survive many, many times of folding. Uh, to see if they can be used in real electronics. We sent back to our collaborators in Taiwan. They helped us perform 200,000 cycles of folding. I hope the result would get better, but I didn't really expect it could survive like 200,000 cycles. 200,000 times and the electrical conductivity is still okay, whereas for other systems, the control system that didn't have any graphene protection, uh, we folded them like 20,000 times and the electronic systems already broke down. And so, so it shows that uh, graphene provides flexibility and it provides better electrical conductivity and it also provides um, chemical stability for, for the flexible electronics. Gold is commonly used in biomedical applications. So we directly grow graphene on gold, and we found that graphene-protected gold is always good, whereas gold without graphene protection under the same kind of treatment degraded. If we can mass produce graphene with this approach, we can also foresee other applications from semiconducting electronics to wearable electronics for biomedical applications to flexible electronics in all kinds of other applications and also for energy research. <laughs>